So this is a very challenging RF environment. And so when we talk about what happens to my signal over the air, these are the factors we generally talk about. We talk about absorption, and this is the ability for substances to absorb the energy of my signal. And so if my signal is going between my source transceiver, my destination transceiver, and it is going through maybe a plasterboard wall. You know, it's not going to attenuate very much. But if it's going through reinforced concrete, then my signal is going to attenuate quite a lot. In fact, that wall is going to absorb a lot of the energy, and my signal that comes out of the other side of the wall is going to be significantly weaker than if I was just going through a plasterboard wall. So absorption is the ability for matter to absorb energy, and that includes walls, doors, water, your human body, everything will absorb energy when it's hit by these signals coming from my antennas. Then we have reflection. Reflection is the ability for a signal to bounce off a surface. If it wasn't for reflection, we wouldn't have wireless lens today because very seldom do I actually have line of sight between my transmitter and my receiver. And different surfaces reflect differently. So if I have mirrors which have a silver metallic backing, or if I have metal filing cabinets, then those signals are going to reflect really well off those surfaces, and I'm going to get more of a reflected signal than those surfaces are going to absorb my energy. Then I have refraction, and you've all experienced refraction. I remember playing with this when I was back at high school. And you know when you put a finger in a bath, if you take a bath and put your finger in, and you tilt your finger so it's not going directly into the water and going in at an angle, your finger will look like it's bent. And that is because the light that you're looking at has suffered refraction. But all electromagnetic signals will suffer refraction. And so this is the ability for the signal to actually appear like it's bent after it's come into contact with an object. You can also have scattering. Now, down at the lower frequencies, below 6 gigahertz, you tend to have more of a reflected signal. And then up at the very high frequencies, you know, when you're up above 10 gigahertz, then you tend to have more of a scattering. And what it is, is that when the signal hits a building, it literally, rather than reflecting, it scatters. And the reason it happens at the higher frequencies is, remember, at the higher frequencies, you have the lower wavelengths. And so when it hits the building or a surface, the wavelength, if it's very small, starts to become equivalent to the roughness of the surface. And so it tends to scatter into multiple directions as opposed to having a very strong single reflected signal. So again, lower frequencies, we tend to have more reflection, which is why we don't need line of sight. Up at the higher frequencies, signals tend to scatter. And typically at the higher frequencies, you need to have line of sight between the transmitter and the receiver. Multipath, we've talked about. That was on the previous slide. You saw that different reflected signals are coming in at different times because they're traveling different paths. And if a path is longer, then it's going to take longer for the signal to travel that path.